In this lesson, we'll cover how to configure the Envy's unique subtitle management feature. This feature ensures subtitles remain on the screen when watching scope movies on a scope screen. Otherwise, these subtitles wind up on your masking or on your wall and ceiling. Let's start at the black bar configuration menu. Here you'll find the subtitle handling option. By default, subtitle handling is turned on. This setting allows the Envy to intelligently bring back just the right amount of black bar area needed to fit subtitles, whether one line or multiple, and whether they are appear at the top or the bottom. For those who prefer a little extra space between the subtitles and the edge of the screen, this can be controlled by selecting the padding option with the desired margin percentage. Notice the options for top and bottom zoom stickiness. These settings control how long the added black bars remain after subtitles disappear. Otherwise, the image would adjust too frequently as the black bar area is added and removed. That would be too distracting, so setting the stickiness is crucial. Typically, a 5 second stickiness is sufficient for most dialogue within a scene. However, for those looking for a balance between getting back to full screen after the subtitle disappears, but with minimal black bar changes, a more conservative setting is 15 seconds. For viewers who prefer the image doesn't go back and forth at all, select until the end of the movie. This way the image will adjust just once when the subtitles first appear and then hold that position for the rest of the movie regardless of whether the subtitles are on screen. It's important to note that subtitle management operates independently for the top and bottom of the screen, allowing customization for each area. For example, you might choose 15 second stickiness for the bottom and none for the top, since that's more commonly used for quick one-off closed captions. Be aware that the MB currently may not always distinguish between subtitles and on-screen display elements, like a volume indicator or a progress bar, showing the time remaining in a movie. Therefore, these on-screen display elements are often treated like subtitles. This is beneficial since it also prevents them from being displayed on your wall or masking. Therefore, it's recommended that you keep subtitle handling on with no stickiness when watching without subtitles and with stickiness set as desired when watching a movie with subtitles. In the future, we plan to recognize the difference between subtitles and on-screen elements. For ease of use in the meantime, consider setting up a profile to make it easy to switch between those two use cases. Your Envy may already include a subtitles profile group specifically for this purpose, depending on when it was shipped. And likewise, a quick press of the magenta button on the backlit remote control may toggle the subtitle handling on with a 5 second bottom stickiness and a press and hold of this button turning the stickiness back to none. If not, creating these profiles and programming the remote for this is straightforward. See your upcoming lesson on creating profiles to learn how to do this. Okay. Now that we covered how to configure subtitles on the Envy, it's time to move on to our next lesson.